Martin, and I am Debbie Strauss's sister, or um, aunt. She was like a sister to me. She was nine years old. I was nine years old when she was born. And they lived with us while uh, her father served in Japan. And so she became a little sister to me. Um, when Debbie called me the day after the rape happened, um, we talked a lot. I went to her immediately and um, her voice was so shaky and, and understandably her emotions were all over the place. But there was one thing that she asked of me and that was please don't tell grandma and grandpa. She was very close to her grandparents. But today I'm looking evil in the face Yet the sentence imposed on you is a mere pittance of the sentence you imposed on my niece. Her prison had no bars, yet her prison cell in which she lived out her life was at times more restrictive than the one in which you would live out your sorry, miserable life. You exerted power over her and made her fear you. You no longer have any power. You were just an ordinary coward. You used a gun and a knife, a flashlight and shoelaces, which seems so simple. But you used them under the under darkness of night and you overpowered before you be, could become overpowered yourself. How pathetic to use your training as a peace officer to take advantage of good people and commit such crimes. Many people have wondered why would one do such shameful deeds? That question remains unanswered. Jesus said, for what comes out of a man comes from his heart. That is what makes him unclean. You, Joseph D'Angelo, are unclean. Since you have no remorse, you shall remain unclean. Today is about us, though, not about you, because goodness and light has overcome your evilness and darkness. You are powerless and insignificant. You are a mere speck in this room filled with brightness and goodness. You will never, ever cast a shadow of hatred or reign terror again. It is indeed a good day. Thank you, Your Honor.